With the Chinese New Year that just ended, we got all these red packets or ang pao's filled with money. But for majority of you guys who are watching, which YouTube tells me are in the 25 to 34 year old range, I'm guessing that 50% are married, which means that you guys are giving out red packets and the other 50% is probably on the receiving end. But if I'm wrong, do let me know in the comments down below because this is really just my own assumption. But either way, today we're gonna talk about two of the newest bank and compare which one is better for who and in which stage of life. So the two newest banks is GXS and Trust Bank. And I've been using Trust Bank for a while and for good reasons that we'll cover in a while. So let's talk about GXS. So GXS is one of the two digital banks that launched in late 2022. GXS is a cooperation between Grab and Singtel, hence GXS if that makes any sense to you. So I checked out the GXX website and to be honest, I think it's really cool with the design and all. It looks really, really hip. But something that caught my eye is the interest for GXS is paid on a daily basis, which is something we do not see with any traditional banks. So in the traditional banking space, interest is usually debited at the end of the month or a monthly basis. And this is something really great because with daily interest being paid out, it kind of have that D5 feels where yields are paid on a daily basis as well. Do not confuse GXS with crypto because it is not. And GXS do have a digital full bank license, which kind of means that it's a little bit different from the full bank license because of the business model, the innovative use of technology, and the reaching out to underserved or unbanked segments of the market. With the ability to manage and run a sustainable digital banking business, and contribute to the growth of Singapore as a financial center. The other contender here is Trust Bank. So Trust Bank's a little bit different because it's a collaboration between Standard Chartered Bank and NTUC. And they do have a full bank license. That means they can offer full suite banking service that traditional banks like UOB, DBS, and OCBC can offer, which kind of makes Trust Bank stand out a little bit more. Get it? Stand chart, stand out a little bit more. <laughs> But let's look at the service offerings that both of these banks provide. As of recording, GXS Bank only has savings account that boasts a 3.48% of saving pockets and 0.08% on your main account. So the saving pocket is a concept where your money is put into different baskets so that you can track how much you have saved for a specific purpose. So this can be for like a short term goal like buying a new camera lens, uh, a ticket for a holiday to London or maybe even a new bicycle. And by using these pockets, you get 3.48% which is super amazing but that's all that GXS is offering right now. Trust Bank on the other hand offers a few more products. They got savings accounts, they have a debit card, they have a credit card, they have voucher partnerships, and they have NTUC link card benefits if you are an NTUC member. And they also added a family personal accident insurance coverage at 50 cents a month and you can cancel that insurance anytime you want. So like I mentioned, I've been using Trust Bank for a while because it gives pretty good interest on your savings account. And for savings account, the interest here works a little bit different. So the base interest is 1.5% per annum for the first $75,000 that you have. But if you do have a minimum of 5 money transactions, you will get an extra 0.5% in interest, which brings it to roughly 2%. And if you're an NTC union member, which is a paid membership by the way, you will get an interest of up to 2.5% on the first $75,000 that you have. Definitely, this is much lesser than GXS Bank, but there are some benefits that Trust has, which is something I like, and it is the vouchers. So every month, there will be new vouchers that you can use to redeem for free stuff, and sometimes you even get discounts for like patrol. And if you shop at NTC just like me, you earn additional link points, which can be used to offset your purchases, saving you some money as well. But then again, this is very subjective because not everything at NTC is cheap and not everybody here is an NTC union member. So that is something for you to think about if you're looking to sign up for Trust Bank. One of the other features that I got to test out was a 0% Forex exchange. And when I was overseas, I made a few expenditures for lunch and there were no Forex fees and the rates to me were pretty okay. So if you do travel, this is something for you to consider as well. So both of these banks are pretty competitive and there's a clear target audience for both of these banks, which could be a deciding factor if you should pick one over the other. So something I noticed about GXS Bank is that there is no sign up link and it's currently by invite only. And I'm guessing it's only inviting Singtel or Grab users who are considered unbanked because of their target audience. And because of that, I am not invited and therefore I'm not really able to test out the app or use the services that they provide. Trust Bank, however, is free to sign up and if you use my link in the description down below, we both get some NTC vouchers and we can get some free from Trust. 
But that's not to say that everybody should use Trust Bank because Trust Bank is only useful if you already have an NTUC Union member and if you shop at NTUC regularly. Because chances are, if you're shopping at NTUC all the time, you'll have points to collect and to offset your purchases. And it doesn't make sense to sign up for a membership just to get an additional 0.5% bonus interest on your savings balance. So now you must be wondering which bank account you should use. So if you're looking for the best savings account to use, UOB1 will be the one to go for because it pays you 7.8% in interest. But there are some hoops like spending on a credit card, crediting your salary, and having quite a bit of capital to hit a 7.8% tier of interest. And to me, the simplest bank to use right now will be CIMB, which gives a base rate of 1.5% and it scales all the way to 3.5%, with the only hoop to jump through is to have a balance of $1,000 otherwise you will not earn any interest. So for me, CIMB is my joint account, my partner, and I personally think that it's a very versatile account to have without the need to think too much. But the downside is the lower interest rates as compared to UOB1 or OCBC 365. So I hope this video has shed some light on which bank accounts you should use or consider for yourself. So if you're single, if you're attached, or if you shop at NTUC, or even if you don't. So if you haven't, do drop a like, it will be greatly appreciated, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and as always, stay safe, invest safe, and I'll see you in the next one.